Mechanistic probabilistic modeling. It's a bit of a tongue twister. Shortening to MP modeling helps. What it means though is pretty straightforward. It means a statistical model, actually a predictive model. In other words, a model that can reliably predict the future, like Madame Zelda at the circus. So, a predictive model that is based on the mechanism of failure for the item involved, in our case a pipeline, combined with its historical performance data. Okay, so where are we? We have a predictive model that addresses the way our pipeline is going to fail. Great! But how do we predict the future, especially without the help of someone like Madame Zelda? We do this by employing some pretty high-powered stuff lent to us by the U.S. Air Force and our friends in nuclear power. This stuff is really advanced statistics and, even more to the point, statistical approaches. So basically, we figure out how the pipeline is going to fail way out into the future and then use Air Force technology to find a way to express it mathematically so that we can pull it all into a reliability equation. This reliability equation is then the tool we use to prioritize the work we do on the pipeline and improve its reliability performance from one year to the next. In its pure form, this approach is new and extremely novel for pipelines. It is absolutely state-of-the-art and was needed to be developed because the previous approach to improve the reliability of pipelines was not technically sound. In many technical papers, the old way of making risk models was equated to throwing darts and by a bad player. The old way to manage a pipeline asset was an index or score-based risk model. As opposed to the new reliability models, the index risk models necessitated that engineers give a rating, in other words, an index, to each segment of a pipeline. Say the engineer would give it a 1 if it seemed really bad and a 10 if it was the best ever. The engineer, though, was asked to do this without any opportunity to know what the expected performance of the pipe would be or what its condition really was. And in spite of the huge uncertainty, given the lack of information, the engineer had to give one number as though the answer was certain. The poor guy really never had a chance. And he had to do this for the hundreds of thousands of segments of pipe that made up a pipeline. At JANA, we're engineers too. We knew that there had to be a better way. So we locked up our brightest and best in a room, and they developed this novel approach that eliminates the need for the engineer to be a fortune teller by providing actual facts about the pipeline, with the uncertainty already measured. That way the engineer can do what he does best, solving the really practical problems of the pipeline. And JANA's MP modeling makes it happen.